Hello and welcome. We are going to be talking about uh, streaming data through the standard input to Python in this case. And we are going to be looking at parsing specifically JSON data. Uh, this comes in a lot really handy when you have uh, a lot of JSON data that's streaming from uh, an API, right? And you might be pulling data from an API and then you parse it uh, into uh, and you pass it into a Python process. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to assume that we have JSON data already. Um, I have a sample data file here that looks like that. Obviously, it's, it's long and complicated, uh, but what I have here is basically a set of information about skills, and this is coming from uh, my company, uh, MZ. Uh, they curate a skills library, and I'm going to be using that. It's part of an open uh, API, so you can always get your hands on this data if you'd like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to parse that out, and basically we're going to be trying to get the ID and the uh, info URL and the name uh, of that skill from every single record. And we've got some a bunch of really complicated information here. So we're going to be taking this and we're going to be passing it into a Python process, and we're going to be using Python 3, and we're, we've got a parse json.py file here that we're going to be passing all of that into. And if I do that right now, we don't get any output. Parse json.py doesn't actually do anything at this point, so we, we don't get any output. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do in order to read from the standard input is we're going to import sys, and then we're going to say for line in sys.standard So what this means is that we will read from the standard input and the idea here is that we might be streaming multiple lines of JSON. In this case, we only have one row, uh, but we could be streaming in multiple rows of JSON data and Python will perform some kind of process on every single ro row of data that, come, that, that is piped into it. Um, so in this case, what we can do here is we can just print out the line, okay? And we'll just start by doing that. And theoretically, we should get the same exact output that we had before, right? All it's doing is it's reading from the standard input and then it's printing that out. Not really doing anything anything complicated. It's not, it's not difficult here. Um, and the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to parse this into JSON. So I'm gonna import JSON and I'm going to say that my record here, or actually let's continue with line, uh, is going to be uh, JSON dot loads and this will be the line so it's going to load that line into memory and in this case let's print out the keys so we've got uh, certain keys we can see that this this ends out ends up uh, with a it finalizes with a dictionary here so we're going to print out just the keys so uh, print line dot keys So we have attributions and we have data. Now data is actually what we want. We're going to iterate through that data and we're going to get the uh, ID, name, uh, info URL, and maybe some other things. But we'll, we'll see what this looks like first. So we're going to say that our data equals our line. And specifically, we're going to look at the data uh, object within that line. So I'm going to use these double quotes. You could also use single quotes, but basically use, uh, we're telling uh, we're telling Python that we want to access the data object, the data dictionary, uh, within the line, within the record here. Okay. Now, uh, let's print the type that data ends up being here. Okay. So this ends up being a list, so we can iterate through the list here. So for, uh, for let's say, skill in data, right? and we will print the skill information. And let's actually just stick with the first five values here. So this means that we're only going to access the first five records of that data, and we'll print that skill out. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, so now we have the ID. Oh, we can, we can get rid of that. So now we have the ID, we have uh, the info URL, we have the name which is American Society for Qualified ASQ Certified. We have a type, ID, 
name certification. So let's just let's just treat this as if we're actually flattening this all into a uh, into like a CSV or something like that. And we'll we'll uh, cheat on the CSV, but that's uh, that's what we'll do for now. Uh, so in this case, we have the JSON data that's coming in. Uh, let's say that we want to take, we've got our row, okay? And now we're creating a new row for this, for this data. And we're going to take the skill, and we're gonna take the ID, skill, name, skill. Uh, and let's use info URL. L. Um, and let's throw this onto a new row here. Skill, and this will be our uh, type. And within that type here, right, so within the type object, we have an ID and we have a name. So we will include that in here. So let's say uh, ID, and then we have skill, Type name. Okay, so all we're doing at this point is we are taking the uh, we're iterating through every skill in the data, right? And we are uh, assigning a row. We're creating a row based off of this. So we're going to print uh, a comma separated value of of this row right here. So in theory, this will print out everything is a string, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but we will uh, we will see what we get. So let's first do that. Okay, so now we do get that sample. Uh, we do get the first five rows here. Now in theory, this would be then output to something like a CSV. So let's also come in here and we're just going to print here. We're going to say ID name, info URL, type, uh, we're going to say type ID, and we're going to say type name, right there. Okay. And then we print this out, and let's clear this out here. So this will go through every single piece and it will parse all of the JSON. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to assume that I'm going to redirect this from the output from the Python script into uh, what I'm going to call sample data.csv. Okay, and we can see uh, ran pretty quickly. Uh, it's we've only got about 30,000 records here. I'm willing to bet with dash line sample data.csv. Uh, 30,426 skills in the library, apparently. Uh, so if we look at the, the first 10 rows of that sample data.csv, this is what that CSV looks like. We've got ID, name, info, URL, uh, type ID, and type name. And there we go. That's all of that. Okay. So that was a straightforward process for parsing data um, from JSON on the command line. So the assumption being that you're passing the JSON data at the command line probably from some uh, process into a Python process. So whether that's another, another Python process or something like that, and instead of uh, importing those into the same Python process, instead you actually want to type that Maybe you're going from one programming programming language to run a very quick Python script, uh, and that outputs to another another uh, program potentially, or to a final CSV file. So in this case, that's what this is uh, attempting to imitate: is it's just taking those skills and it's outputting the information to a CSV file. So there you go. Um, hope this was helpful. Hope this was interesting. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, accusations. Uh, go ahead and throw those in the comments below the video. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.